make a decision about something, it's my decision. I have the backing of people fairly well up in the organisation here to do what I did this morning. If Dee decided to go in and talk to the DSM, they said to children, Nanny, you won't let me do this. Well, you'll suffer for it. I'm telling you this now. I stopped off in personnel on the way down this morning. We were entitled to an hour and a half over the 12 hour shift. One three quarter an hour break, one 20 minute break, and one 25 minute break. You'll get them when I say so. And they'll be spread over the night. So there'll be no when quiet can I go for a smoke. The answer will be no. You're the ones who brought this on your own heads. Don't blame me. With regards to who I let go home or don't let go home, that's my decision. I'm paid to do a job, I'll do a job. The three team leaders, we were here on the last shift on the 10 past 8 one morning, all four of us actually. We were gone home at 7 o'clock. The team leaders were finished this morning. Darren and John did toes. I wasn't expecting them to do more work. They were doing toes all night. And if I make a decision, it's my decision. You can run to Tony, you can run to Sharon or Kerry. And they might back out, they might not. I don't know. I know who will back me. And they're in a higher position than any of the DSMs here. With regards to going out on breaks and not telling me, which I know is still happening, every time you come back through security, you have to swipe in. By 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll have a list for the past four nights of everybody who went in and out. And I'll know the times and everything else. I know people have gone out tonight without asking me. I'm 58 years of age. I've been around the block. I know every trick in the book. I could teach you some because you don't know how to do it properly. So in future, if you have a problem, I told you right the first night I was here, you can come and talk to me about it. But if you're going to act like children and carry on like that, I asked for two volunteers this morning. That's all I wanted. You went in and told Tony that the people that I got last week, I didn't look after them. They came to me and asked could they go. I said yes. Unfortunately, they didn't get out that much ahead of you because everybody else was finished. But I haven't forgotten that. I would have added more time later on, on the next shift or whenever. I wasn't going to keep you for three quarters of an hour just so that I could let two lads go three quarters of an hour ahead of me. <coughs> but no, you just had to go run. Now you play ball with me and I play ball with you, but if you want to cross me, as I say, I'm the wrong person. I really am. Now, with regards to the next shift, and I hope to talk to you about this, because there are problems, and with the winter schedule that comes in next week, as it's gone next week,